take a listen at the Senegalese Prime Minister Ousmane Sonko make his stand clear on the future of French or rather foreign military bases on the African soil, and specifically on Senegalese territory in this joint press conference that he held with the French rebel politician Jean-Luc Mélenchon at the University of Dakar on May 16, 2024. La présence de bases militaires étrangères au Sénégal. The presence of foreign military bases in Senegal. These presences of these military bases raise legitimate questions. More than 60 years after our independence, we must question the reasons why the French army, for example, still benefits from several military bases in our countries, and the impact of this presence on our national sovereignty and our strategic autonomy. Recent history, I like to take examples from France itself. The recent history of France is very rich in interesting anecdotes on the problems and challenges of the security question. Between 1956 and 1958, you are a historian, I am not, I could be wrong about the dates and even the facts. But between 1956 and 1958, that is to say after the Second World War, the Americans had the project of installing on French territory a stock of nuclear weapons and ballistic missiles. The project on the dual issue of command and control of missile deployment was admitted by the French military as a good means of increasing NATO's dissuasive power. The French Air Force then considered unacceptable the principle, according to which the ballistic missile squadrons would remain under American command. These units had to be under national command. As soon as he came to power, General Charles de Gaulle, during the defense meeting of June 7, 1958, advised that these weapons must be under French control and that France demands the right to give its opinion in the outbreak of a possible nuclear war. All conditions were considered excessive by the Americans to the point that an agreement could not be concluded. Second example, in May 1966, General de Gaulle urged France to withdraw from the integrated command of NATO, which then had around 10 military bases in France, and we know the consequences. He justified this decision by France's desire to have its own control, a desire which is incompatible with a defense organization in which it is subordinate. I reiterate here the desire of Senegal to dispose of itself, any desire which is incompatible with the lasting presence of a foreign military base in Senegal, this does not call into question the defense agreements. We maintain defense agreements with many countries, the United States, Great Britain, even China I believe, and many countries. We can have defense agreements without this justifying that a third of the Dhaka region is occupied today by foreign garrisons. <laughs>